Welcome to Anthony's Outdoors. With fuel prices what they are, we could all use some tips for saving some money on our fishing trips. So here are five tips that we've come up with over the years to help you save some cash. Tip number one, fuel cans instead of fueling up on the water. Get yourself a couple fuel cans like this. If you've ever had to fill up on the water, you know how crazy those prices can be at the resort pumps. Topping off your boat and these fuel cans at a pump on land will save you anywhere from two to four dollars per gallon than filling up at those resorts. Tip number two, camping instead of lodging. If you've been following this channel for a while, you know that we camp a lot. It saves us thousands of dollars each year in lodging costs. And it also allows us the flexibility to go fishing when we want to, where we want to, and not have to rely on some place that we have booked. Yes, camping gear can be expensive initially, but it's still cheaper than a couple nights at a resort and will more than pay for itself in the long run. Hey, real quick. The channel has been growing fast over the last two months and I want to say thank you to all those subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you like what you've seen so far, hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. Tip number three, slow down while towing. Now I know everybody likes to get to their favorite lake as fast as absolutely possible. I'm guilty of it myself. However, if I drive at 65 miles per hour instead of 75, I get between two and a half to three miles per gallon better. Over a long trip, that adds up and puts more cash in your pocket. Since we're on the subject, make sure you guys are checking your air filters and your tire pressure before you leave on your trips. Clogged air filter and bad tire pressure will definitely cost you MPGs. Tip number four, slow down while boating. This one is huge, and a lot of fishermen do not take this into consideration. Let's use 150 horsepower mercury as an example. At wide open throttle, you're using 14.2 gallons of fuel per hour. Per hour. Now, cut that down to 4,000 RPMs, and you're down to 7.2 gallons per hour, effectively cutting your fuel consumption in half. The key to fuel economy while boating is to get your boat up on plane and then adjust the trim of your motor so that you can cruise at that speed. I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to go onto a website where I found this information and you can type in your manufacturer and your horsepower rating and you can click through all the different RPM ranges and it will give you a uh, printout of what your fuel consumption rate is. Pretty handy. Last but not least, tip number five, downsizing your gear. Now I know this next tip is gonna be really controversial for a lot of musky fishermen out there, but downsizing your gear can save you a boatload of money. Ah, see what I did there? This is especially true for you new musky anglers out there that are just trying to buy your first couple setups. You don't need a nine foot Legend Elite rod and a 500 series Tranks to catch muskies. That setup before you add line is $1,100. Downsize your equipment. Look at a St. Croix Mojo Musky Rod and say a 400 series Tranks. And that combo comes in around $490. That's a savings of 56%. And for you new guys out there, that's right in the sweet spot of performance and cost savings. Well, those are my five tips for helping save you money on your next fishing trip. If there's anybody out there that has other tips to help others save money, comment down below. If you like what you saw in this episode, hit that like button and consider subscribing. Also be sure to check out the two videos that I have up here on the screen right now. And as always, thanks for watching.